Uh, September, or Chris Tember. I don't even know. The 16th. That's what it is. Hope everybody's doing great for this manic Monday. I'm in my kitchen right now trying to get my stuff together for um, my snacks for work that I bring. And then um, also getting my dinner prepared. It's been one heck of a stinking day, let me tell you. Started with our, oh my gosh, our coffee pot wouldn't work. We couldn't get it on for nothing. And we have a Keurig, but Monday through Friday, we are not trying to deal with a Keurig. We are, give me one pot, you know, get our cups and out the door we are. So we weren't too thrilled with that. But anyway, I'm going to walk through my house, take you with me, so I can sit on my swing outside where it makes me happier, and I'll tell you about my day. Oh. As far as the eating and exercising and everything, I've been doing so stinking good. Um, I am now, I'm going to be swinging too, which YouTube will be like, would you like to sh change your video or um, make it, improve it? because you're a little shaky while well, I'm on my swing, so that's why I'm going to be shaky. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've been, for the past four days in a row, every single day, I have been um, running, running, walking on my treadmill, and I've done it for an hour. Burnt 600 and something calories. And it was three miles. It was like 290 as far as miles. Two, 2.9 something. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm part of Map My Run. And I haven't used Map My Run because I, um, I don't know. I, was, I think that you have to be moving. And I'm on my treadmill. So I don't know if that's considered moving or not. So I don't know. Um, I might, I might log on into it tonight and see what happens, but anyway, um, this shirt I'm wearing, it's a dance skin, and they only come in, uh, it, at my Walmart, they only come in size, uh, 1X, I think, so I thought, oh, I'm not gonna put it on, it's gonna be like, you know, like a pig, on, two pigs under a blanket or something, or sausage casing, or whatever, um, uh, showing all my jiggly puffs but um i put it on and it's very comfortable i don't know if you guys can see it um don't look at my arms though see it's very comfortable and it's not like tight and i'm really really surprised and very happy about that um so i think that i'm doing really good as far as that goes my son is doing a lot better he passed the kidney stone thank goodness um and i took i went over to his house and I felt guilty because I wasn't there at 3 o'clock in the morning with him. And so I went and bought him a, uh, he loves the Cleveland Browns. So I bought him a Cleveland Browns t-shirt. And then I took him to Wendy, well I took him to get his prescription, drop his prescription off. And um, my husband and his fiance stayed watching the Miami, Miami Colts game. And so I took Zach, it gave me an opportunity to kind of hang out with him for a little bit. So I took him and we went, um, went, dropped his prescription off and then we went to Wendy's and he's been going on and on and on about this pretzel burger and he just loves it. He gets a triple with everything on it. I'm like, oh gosh, okay. So I ordered one, I took everything off of it. I just had the hamburger and the, the bun itself. Um, I think it's 400 and something calories, 483 or something, but that's all I ate. I didn't eat any french fries or anything like that. I was so sick. Oh my goodness, so sick. I, and this is the second time that I've tried Wendy's and I've gotten like either major heartburn or something, but I mean, I just can't do it anymore. I, and I don't know why I think I can. I just can't eat that kind of stuff anymore. I'm not eating like that anymore. I'm not eating like that now. So, you know, it's really bad for my stomach. It just, Oh my goodness, it just jacks my whole world up. So, done with that. But anyway, yeah, he's doing a lot better, thank goodness. So, um, But yeah, coffee makers didn't work. Um, my son's doing better. We're leaving for Tennessee Thursday morning. I'm really excited about that. I'm not excited about getting on the plane. But I'm excited about going and um, 
going to see in Tennessee. I love Tennessee. So I'm going to see baby boy get married. He's very, very excited about that because he's, um, well, I'm not going to embarrass him, but he's very excited about getting married. I'll just put it to you that way. And um, th he's just adorable about it. He's got the countdown going to the hour, so that's it's funny. Um, so we're getting ready for that. We've been packing. My house is kind of, I don't know, I got clothes and suitcases and everything hanging all over the place. And it just, I like my house to be nice and neat and in order. But, um, yeah, I walked an hour today, which I do every Monday. And then I'm going to get on my treadmill now and kick it up for another, um, probably another 20 minutes or 40 minutes. I'm not sure. I might do an hour. I don't know. I got a lot of, like, aggravation stored up. Oh, my goodness. This, too. I'm on my way home from work. And, you know, you have the crosswalk. Well, we do here. You have the crosswalk right by the the red light, and I'm stuck at a red light. And um, here comes this girl walking across the the um, crosswalk. She's about seven, eight months pregnant, smoking a cigarette. I just wanted to, I just wanted to slap her. I just, I was so aggravated with her. I mean, I was a smoker, but when I got pregnant, I stopped smoking. I stopped drinking coffee. I didn't drink any alcohol at all. I mean, you're responsible for another another life and you're putting that in your body, which is putting it in your baby's body. It's just, that's like when the baby gets out, you're going to light one up and let them take a drag? I mean, come on. I was just really aggravated with this girl. And she had like this attitude thing like, yeah, I'm bad. I'm smoking a cigarette and I'm pregnant. So what? And I just, ugh, she just aggravated me to death. So, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Um, that's about it on that. I mean, I don't. I'm making chicken tonight. I'm doing. Um, I'm making panko breaded chicken, and I put it. You put a little bit of Miracle Whip on it, and then put the. Um, it's Parmesan cheese and panko crusted chicken is what it's called and you put the parmesan cheese and the um, breadcrumbs in one bowl you put um, some miracle whip on your chicken and then you stick it in the, that panko and then you put it in the toaster oven and cook it for like 30 minutes or whatever so we're having that and we're having those Idahoan um, garlic mashed potatoes which is 110 calories for half a cup and then I'm going to have some white gravy but I'm not, I'm making it with skim milk. Hopefully it'll be good. Because normally you take, you take the grease from the chicken and you um, mix it up. You take some white, white flour and um, some other crap. I don't know. <laughs> you can't even think about it. But then you mix it up and you put it on your mashed potatoes and all that. And um, I don't think I'm going to do that because I haven't checked the calories on that. But I think it's going to be not a good thing. So I have to check that white gravy out first before I decide to do that or not. My husband just might not have gravy. He'll be alright. And I'm making him lima beans because he absolutely loves lima beans. And then I'm going to probably have some cauliflower. I love, love, love cauliflower. I like cauliflower raw or cooked as soup and cheese, whatever. I just love it. So... That's probably what I'm going to have vegetable-wise. But, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope everybody has a beautiful, wonderful rest of your Monday. It looks like it's going to storm here again. We're still in rainy season until November, so I'm not going to miss this when we go to Tennessee. It's going to be beautiful. We're going to be in the mountains. I'm so excited. But, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, if you're not subscribed to I know I say this every time, it's a pain in the butt, me saying it. You're probably thinking, oh, whatever. But if you're not subscribed to me, please do so. I'm going to do a giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers. Um, and that's about it, you guys. Have a blessed one, and please take care.